Hello, this is Kirill Romenko from forexboat.com with my weekly forex thoughts. Hope your week's been going great. I'm, uh, you might think I'm at a lake somewhere, but in reality, I'm actually in the middle of Montreal in uh, Canada. Yes, this is an amazing city and there's this huge park here right in the center of the city, so it looks fantastic. And what is today's talk about? Well, today I wanted to quickly share some thoughts about buying and selling on the foreign exchange market. Now, I was in New York a couple of days ago and saw the charging bull on Wall Street, you know, that statue of the bull, and uh, took a great photo there and kind of gave me this uh, idea that the, where did the charging bull come from? Like, why is it a bull? Why is it not a bear? Well, I'm assuming that uh, the charging bull is related more to the stock market than anything. So to the New York Stock Exchange or other stock markets and hence, uh, the charging bull, because when we talk about stock markets, we talk about investing into um, stocks, in, into we're, to we're talking about buying and holding stocks, we're talking about strategies that relate to kind of uh, understanding how the stocks can grow and finding the right stocks to grow. So not so much actually selling and profiting from selling stocks, whereas on the Forex market, you can also translate that mentality into forex trading, but that would be a flawed mentality in my perspective because on the forex market, buy and sell are pretty much identical. And if you're not thinking about selling as much as you're thinking about buying, you're limiting your opportunities substantially. And I'll prove it to you. I'll prove to you that buying and selling on the forex market is different to buying and selling on uh, the stock market. And actually, on the, on the forex market, it makes no difference whether you buy or sell in terms of uh, the actual procedures and actual like thinking about the charts. So if you look at any stock, ch uh, stock chart, so you go into Yahoo's Finance or Google Finance and just pick any uh, stock chart that uh, you like, like Microsoft or Apple or any other one for that matter, and then you take a screenshot of it and you take it into your favorite editor like uh, Paint or Photoshop and you just invert it. So flip that chart upside down. Just go ahead and do that, pause this video, give it a crack, see how you go. And you will notice that the movements on the chart will look very different. Like the chart won't look normal. It will look like it's something completely out of this world. Whereas if you take a forex chart, like say Euro dollar or British pound dollar or uh, Canadian, Japanese, and any kind of currency pair, and you do the same procedure and you invert it, the, uh, the chart will actually look normal. It will still look like a forex chart. So why is that? Well, that is because when uh, you have a stock uh, a chart, what's going on is when it's going up, that means the stock is going up. When it's going down, that means the stock price is going down. Whereas when you have a forex chart, it's two currencies uh, uh, put against each other. So when uh, the price for euro dollar is going up, that means the euro is going down or the dollar is going down. But if you invert that chart, you get you still get a forex chart. It's just dollar US dollar to euro. And in that sense, if it's going up, then the dollar is going up, and if it's going down, the euro is going up. So it will look very very similar to a forex chart, and that just basically means that if you invert a forex chart, so you t turn buys into sells and sells into buys, it is still the same kind of logic. It is still the same type of market. Whereas that is not a applicable on uh, the stocks market. So that is my two cents on buying and selling on Forex. So if you've been focusing too much on buying or too much on selling, then it's maybe time to consider that there are other options and explore them. Not necessarily that you have to buy and sell all the time, but just keep in mind that that option is there for you. Hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, happy trading.